Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. My name is Mimansa Cholera and today I'm going to talk about hygiene. I'm going to talk about personal hygiene, body hygiene, culinary hygiene and home hygiene. It's very important to maintain hygiene in order to maintain optimum health. So let's talk a little bit about hygiene. Disclaimer. This presentation is only for educational purposes and should be taken in light and positive cheer. The facts listed here are known facts and do not reflect my personal opinions. References to support the facts are cited at the end of presentation. Hope is that you will find useful information from this presentation to establish and maintain utmost health, maintaining required hygiene. It is also my hope that you will pass on this knowledge to people you know and help them as well attain maximum health. So what is hygiene? It is a set of practices performed for the preservation of health. According to WHO, WHO, World Health Organization, hygiene refers to conditions and practices that help to maintain health and prevent the spread of disease. A little bit of background. Our hands are germ farms. We are vulnerable to so many microorganisms as we use our hands for so many activities in our day-to-day -day life. We could harbor microorganisms such as Streptococci, Shigella, Streptococcus pneumoniae, Haemophilus, Pseudomonas, Staphylococcus, and Hepatitis A. These are really dangerous. We are using our hands to maintain our body hygiene, we meet people, we shake hands with them, we go to work, use our desk, use our computers, not necessary that we clean them every day. We use our cell phones, which have gone across places. We cook something, we do gardening. Basically, our hands are so many, so, excuse me, so much vulnerable. Hepatitis A could cause jaundice and diarrhea. Streptococci could cause you a sore throat. Shigella could cause you diarrhea. Pseudomonas could infect wounds. Hemophilus, he, excuse me, hemophilus could cause pink eye, which is highly contagious. And Streptococcus pneumoniae loves to give you pneumonia. Staphylococcus could give you a boil. Now you know why we need to maintain hygiene. Why is hygiene important? To kill bacteria and the germs that we just discussed, avoid bad breath and body odor, to maintain good health, prevent sickness, to prevent from spreading germs to others. So how should you maintain your body hygiene? Wash your hands before eating, cooking, serving food, after sneezing, coughing using bathroom a pictorial presentation of when to wash your hands again after using toilet urinal or any time you visit the restroom for any reason before and after handling raw meats raw poultry or other raw foods before serving food beverages setting or waiting tables after cleaning washing dishes or bussing tables before putting gloves on or any time you take gloves off, after smoking or chewing gum, after eating, drinking, and after breaks, after touching your face, hair, clothes, or any other part of your body, after handling a tissue or a handkerchief, after sneezing, coughing, or scratching any part of your body, before and after handling or preparing any food item, and some of the personal hygiene mis mistakes that we need to stop making. Too much cleanliness can irritate your skin. Not flossing frequently is a personal hygiene mistake. Using cotton swabs to remove ear wax. This could rather push the ear wax to your eardrum through ear canals, damaging it. If there's too much wax, you should go to a doctor to get it removed. This wax helps foreign particles from going into your canal. That's why ear wax has an important purpose to serve.
Sharing nail clippers is a personal hygiene mistake we need to stop making. Not cleaning the everyday use objects such as a vase, a remote, door handles. Sharing your makeup ladies, you shouldn't be sharing your makeup such as your lip colors, your brush, it should be just kept to yourself. Daily exfoliation should not be done. Not using public bathrooms carefully is also a personal hygiene mistake. So how should you wash your hands? Wet your hands, take some soap, leather and scrub for 20 seconds. Rinse for 10 seconds. Turn off the tap with a napkin. Dry your hands. Also, do not forget to wash and dry between your fingers, under your nails, and the tops of your hands. Some other personal hygiene habits. Brush your teeth at least twice a day after waking up in the morning and before going to bed at night. Wash your hair. Wash your hair often. Keep it neat and tidy by brushing and styling as often as you can. Wash your hands. Again, after going to toilet, before and after eating, playing with animals, after brushing hair, after playing outside. Take a shower. Take a bath or shower at least once a day. Change your undergarments daily. Change your clothes. Wear neat and clean clothes every day. Change your clothes when dirty or wet. Clip your nails. Keep your nails short and clean at all times. Cover toilet seat with paper before sitting. Cover your cough and sneeze. Shower post gym. Wash your face daily. Do not share drinking water glasses. So people, did you wash your hands today? If not, please go and wash your hands. Okay, let's talk a little bit about culinary hygiene. Culinary hygiene includes safe ways to handle, store, prepare, serve, and eat food so as to prevent food contamination, prevent food poisoning, and minimize the transmission of disease. Let's look at some personal hygiene habits or agenda for professional chefs in hotel for food safety. Hair should be properly tucked inside the cap. At home, you could just tie up your hair. No earring or necklace or chains of any sort. No outer pockets. Wear neat and clean clothes. No wristwatch or finger rings. Cover all wounds. Nails should be short and clean. Torn clothes should be repaired or replaced. Wear clogs and safety shoes. So let's see what's the culinary hygiene that we need to follow in our homes in our day-to-day -day life. Do not wear bangles, finger rings while cooking. Wash hands frequently before and while cooking. Trim your nails. Do not apply nail paints to avoid chemicals from being infused in food you cook. Use clean and wash napkins to dry your hands while cooking. Do not use kitchen napkins to wipe your face. That's easy transfer of germs. Use clean filtered water for cooking. Do not use cups used for drinking to collect water for cooking. They might have been used by other family members to drink water. Do not by any means wash face, brush teeth or spit in the kitchen sink. Cover your hair if possible or take measures to avoid hair falling in the food. And some other good hygiene practices to follow. Do not wear shoes inside home. You might bring all sorts of germs from all across the places that you have traveled to your home. Clean objects such as waste remotes frequently. They accumulate microbes. After picking nose, wash hands before touching anywhere. Wash hands after combing hair. Leftover foods should be put in a bag and trashed in the trash bag and not in the sink. Wrappers and other recyclable dry waste should directly go in the trash bag and not in the sink. One should not spit on the roads or anywhere in the open. Body fluids such as saliva, sweat, blood contain microbes which are potent in spreading infections. Please consider public health.
soap bars should not be shared. Never share toothbrush, tongue cleaners, razors with anyone. And ladies, please clean your jewelry before using it if you shared it with any of your friends. Here are the works that I have cited here. You can open and look them up for more information. And that's it from my side. And are you ready to be a hygiene ninja? If you have any questions or concerns or comments, or if you have any more suggestions for maintaining optimum hygiene, please put them down below in the comment box. Thank you and have a wonderful day.